Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm going to get my iPad set up here. Hopefully no technical problems tonight. Woohoo! We'll see. <laughs> can't, can't guarantee anything, right? Okay. I had this set up, but then when it closes, it just resets itself and then I don't have it set up. And there we go. Yay. Okay. I'm going to set that over there. Oops. And get my, there comes my messages. And I think I need to leave this like this so I can actually see them better. Yay. I see Julie coming in and Betty's coming in. Lori Wong is watching. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, the Packers won. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is back. Woohoo. So that was exciting. I watched the game while I was stamping. I've been stamping like pretty much all afternoon. I am live on Tuesday night for our Stamp Happy Academy subscription website. So we do three live classes a month and this time it's my turn and I was working on cards and we do three different layouts and make three cards with each layout so it's really fun designing those cards and um yeah it's a good time if anybody's interested in learning more about the stamp happy academy website you can go to www.stamphappyacademy.ning.com or you can just ask me i'll send you the link but it's super fun you can find it on my blog the link to the website and each month with a basic membership, you get four online classes, four online classes with a $20 value. We sell these for $20 individually. So you get $80 worth of classes for $19.95. And then the, um, that's a basic membership. The premium membership is $34.95. And you get all those online classes, plus you get... Um, three live classes every month with a minimum of nine projects in each one. So it's super fun, super fun. And I love designing for my Stamp Happy Academy Live. I see Nancy's coming in from Lancaster. Um, Cheryl, do you, whoops, hang on, that went really fast. Do you, hang on. Oh, Cheryl, I think you asked me if you give the sizes. So yes, actually we show um, ahead of time, we show a layout. So you've got the card and, you know, if it needs a circle and a banner and a this and a that. And then we tell all the dimensions of each one of those layers so that it's super easy for you to recut or to not recut, but to cut and um, make your own cards out of what you have. It's really, really fun. Do you the, yes, size. Oh, um, if you're asking me if I have posted my layouts on the Stamp Happy Academy website, I have. Everything is there. I think my YouTube link is there. It's ready to go. I'll be, I think I'm live Tuesday night at 6 p.m. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure because I was planning on leaving to go to my mom's house for a couple of days tomorrow hunting and I can't <laughs> because I'm live Tuesday night at 6 p.m. <laughs> Which is wonderful, but I was like, oh, I'll go hunting Monday and Tuesday. But nope, nope, I'm not. <laughs> I'll be right here stamping. Yeah. So um, let's see. We have a sale starting Tuesday, you guys. Anybody who may not be aware of this, we are going to have um, a three-day sale that starts on Tuesday, November 18th. Nope, November 16th. Starts on November 16th. 17th and 18th. It's a three day, three day sale. And um, we are going to have cardstock, ink pads, and dies on sale. So I think it's 10, 15, and 20%. Let me pull that up on my blog. I thought I wrote it down someplace, but apparently it was in my head. And we know how things don't work out real good in there. <laughs> oh my good Lord, right? Just ridiculous. Here we go. I've got it. It is 10% off cardstock, 15 on ink pads, and 20% off dies. There is a downloadable flyer that has all the list of all the dies that are on sale. On my blog, www.estampabove.com. Go check that out. 
Get your wish list ready so that when the sale starts on Tuesday, you're ready to rock. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. Hi, Linda Gilbert from Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Um, so we have that sale starting on Tuesday. I've been having a lot of people ask me questions um, because we also, for the month of November, have a join special. For $75, you can join my team, whether you want to be a demonstrator, a discount shopper, something in between, it doesn't matter. We are not judgy. But you can join my team for $75. You actually get to pick $125 in any product you want. So when that sale starts on Tuesday, you can take advantage of the lower prices and get more stuff. Plus, if you join my team, if you have an order around $75, this is the best thing for you to do. Join instead of just making a purchase and you'll get $50 in free product, you guys. I'm not kidding. There are no strings attached. Um, I see I see my customers placing, you know, fairly big size orders all the time. Join my team. You will love it. It's a fantastic opportunity to um, be with other demonstrators. It's all virtual. It doesn't matter where you live. I have demonstrators all over the United States and Hawaii, which is part of the United States, but I always like to say and Hawaii. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Judy said, aren't the dyes on sale? Yes, the dyes are 20% off starting on Wednesday or Tuesday. Oh, darn it. I need to get my dates straight. So um, it's just a fantastic thing to be part of a bigger group of people who are just as crazy about stamping as you guys are. So join. Instead of just placing an order, you get $50 free. You get to take advantage of the sale prices. Plus, I've had some of my team members asking, um, do we get our, our um, discount shopper discount on top of the sale prices that are going to happen on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Let me make sure those dates are right. Yep. And you do. So if it's 10% off, you take your 10% off and then you will get an additional 20% off because you're a discount shopper. So now it's, well, it's not really 30% off. 10% off, figure that out, and then 20% off of that. So math is hard. But you do get the discount when you're a discount shopper on anything we have on sale. Stampin' Up! is really good about continuing to allow the discount shoppers, the demonstrators, to take advantage of everything that the customers get. So it's just a huge win-win. It's crazy. All right. Um, <clears throat> yes, I see people saying congratulations on your achievements. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I did not expect to, for those of you that may be new to me or don't know what I'm talking about, Stampin' Up! had their on stage event over the weekend. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it, that is a, um, a Stampin' Up! event that we usually have in person. And it's usually held in Salt Lake City. So I should have been in Salt Lake City this last weekend. But due to COVID, it was all virtual. And Thursday night was the awards ceremony. And it was just a fantastic performance. We had a musical group on there from America's Got Talent. Oh my gosh, they were just give you goosebumps. They were so, so good. And then we have awards. And I wasn't expecting to do as well in my numbers as I did. But what they do is they take all of the different countries and then they rank you as to how much you had in sales, how many people have joined your team, um, your leadership, which is sales, um, team members, promotions, all kinds of stuff. So are you guys ready? There are around 44,000 demonstrators in the U.S. And I contacted one of my friends at Stampin' Up! and asked her. And she told me 44,000, around 44,000 in the U.S. And out of 44,000, my sales, I ranked number 16. Um, in team building, I ranked number four. In leadership, I ranked number four. And in the U.S. overall, which would be kind of like a demonstrator of the year thing, I ranked number seven. I know. It was so amazing. Um, I was just really shocked. And it was cute, too, because Molly, my granddaughter Molly, was here. And so she was watching the countdown with me because they start at like 30, 29, who's 28, who's 27. Sometimes they start at 50 and go down. And she's like, 
Oh my gosh, she would get so excited. Oh my gosh, they still didn't call your name. Are you sure you're getting an award in this? I'm like, yep, I'm sure I'm getting an award. Because they sent us badges telling us that we would get an award in level four sales, level, level four um, leadership, all of that. So it was really cute. Molly made up these cute little things on her iPad that every category. So like I play 16th in sales. So she put 16 candles on it. And then when you touch the screen, they'd go off and then we'd high five and we'd celebrate. And <laughs> it was so cute. So that was me and Molly. So, you know, Steve is always very supportive with this too. But um, one thing that he always does every year, which is so funny, is when I tell him, okay, so this is what I got. I got this, 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 and this. And he goes, wow, that's really awesome. But uh, since you weren't number one, there's room for improvement. And then we laugh and laugh. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Anyways, I always get a kick out of him and his reactions to things because I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Lori says she was cheering so loud. Where did that go? Lori says I was cheering so loud when I saw your name on all these all these categories. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much, Lori. It really is exciting. It's much more exciting when you're at the event in real life and you get to walk across the stage and, you know, get a hug from Sarah or Shelly. Sometimes you get flowers. I think usually for the top 10, they give flowers. And so, you know, this is all things that we're missing, but it was really exciting. We had a fantastic on stage event and on stage is open to anybody. So if you decide to join my team as a discount shopper, you also can attend these types of Stampin' Up! events and they're so much fun, like so much fun. We got to see tons of new product. Um, there's people doing demonstrations, showing us what to do with it. Really fantastic ideas. They do technique demonstrations. There was even a game show where they had our concept artists competing against each other. Like um, there's a kitchen competition show and I don't know what it is because I don't watch it, but it was just like that. It was so funny. So anyways, it was really cool. Um, I wanted to give you a John update. Um, I have nothing again. I haven't seen John. I have had my nose to the grindstone. I've been pretty much locked here in my office. Um, and John's house is over there. And I don't have any windows over there. So I really can't see what's going on. I go downstairs to eat. I come back up here. So um, I haven't seen John. But I know he shoveled his sidewalk today because we got a ton of snow. So who is shoveling snow today? I know some of you were. I wasn't. I was here. I was working. Having so much fun. Anyways, Wisconsin got a bunch of snow. It was kind of neat to wake up to a winter wonderland. I think that first um, that first snowfall is always so pretty. Oh, I see lots of you talking about um, on stage. And yeah, it was called Top Stamper. And I think it's called, what was that? What's Master Chef? So it was like Master Chef. It was just really funny. Stampin' Up! puts on just the most fantastic events. I have never, ever been disappointed. So anyways, John update. He shoveled. That's all I got on him. I did ask Steve about Gino. If you guys remember, um, I, Steve had this thing where he thought the possum was going over to eat Gino because he was maybe dead in his garage. We hadn't seen him in a long time. And he's our other neighbor lives across the street. I like Gino. He's really nice. Um, <laughs> but Steve hadn't seen him in a while. And I asked Steve today, I'm like, have you seen Gino? Like, is he still like around or what's going on? He said, yeah, he thinks he got rid of his car though. Cause he hasn't seen that, but he's seen him. So everything's good with Gino. <laughs> um, I wanted to let you guys know, I do have, um, four of these packs left. This is the sweets and treats kit from, um, October. And I have four packs left. So if anybody wants one, you'll find the ordering button on my blog or you can email me and I can just invoice you. Let me know if you want to add on the stamp set. So the pack is $44.50. It comes with um, enough cardstock pre-cut to make eight cards. You get four different designs, two of each. It also comes with a 48 sheets of six by six pattern party designer series paper. And this is the beautiful paper that is colored and printed on one side and then black and white on the other. 
Also Gilded Gems and Playful Pets Beautiful Ribbon. Um, that is $44.50. Add on the stamp set for $19.50. And I'm going to show you quickly the cards because I usually don't do this. They are super, super cute. And yes, this is going to be very quick. These are usually kept exclusive. Isn't that pretty? And you get all of the cardstock layers cut and ready to go. The only thing you have to do is cut your designer series paper because it comes in your pack. And these are super, super cute. Great ideas. You get a PDF file with a video tutorial for each card. And um, if you've never taken one of my online classes, they're really fun. And it's kind of really fun for somebody else to do all the work cutting up the cardstock, I have to tell you. So four of those left. Let me know if you're interested. Um, I do have other online classes on my blog, so check those out. We have the Eden's Garden. That is going on. Um, we're taking pre-registration for that. We are going to be sending those out, I believe, on the 26th. 25th or 26th, um, oh, I have a note. On the 26th, the PDF file, if you have pre-ordered that PDF file, that will be coming out on the 26th. I was working on that this weekend too. And um, packets are gonna go out the week of the 28th. So nine different cards. When you order option one from us, you get a PDF tutorial with 22 more projects in it other than what's in the nine card class. And it's fantastic. Um, you get all of the goodies with option number one for $116. You can add on the flowers punch if you want to, if you don't have it. The um, option number two, just the kit with the, some ribbon and some gold foil paper, things that you'll need to make the cards is $45. The PDF is $20. And again, this PDF that I'm telling you about is on the Stamp Happy Academy website when we get it posted um, on the 26th. It's it's included with a membership to Stamp Happy Academy. So just know that. All right. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. Ooh, I want to say Chris and Joe. Chris and Joe, that's the name on Facebook. Chris and Joe won um, for commenting last time. And I do not have your address. And I know it's Joe. Chris and Joe, it's Joe that watches me. Um, I don't have your address and I can't remember your last name. So you need to contact me with your address so I can send you your prize. It's still here. I'm keeping track of it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, bingo registration is open. We will be um, making cards. It's a card class and playing bingo on December 1st. Bingo registration is open right now. It's $35. It is so much fun. You get a pre-cut cardstock pack to make five the five cards that I'm going to do in the class. The class is open to everybody. It is um, a public class. I do it on YouTube Live. But if you want to play in between, you need to register. $35. You can also add on any of the bundles we're going to be using. And let me grab those. I am going to be designing cards with the Flowers of Friendship and the Friendship Flower Punch. Also, the Snowflake Wishes and the So Many Snowflakes dies. And then, who doesn't love Back on Your Feet? Like, this is one of my favorite stamp sets. So, I'll be designing cards with those three um, bundles or stamp sets or whatever. And if you don't have them, you're welcome to add them on. If you don't have them and you don't want to add them on, that's fine. You can find other stamp sets with shapes and sizes um, to make the cards in the cardstock pack. But plain bingo is really fun. And the prizes are amazing. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done with that. We have prizes to give away. So let me grab. I've got my envelopes ready to go. I am just on it. <laughs> I'm telling you trying to get my eggs in a row because I would like to be um, at my mom's house the week of Thanksgiving, like the whole week. That is gun hunting here in Wisconsin. And I would like to, next weekend we will be heading up north. Um, I think I'm taking baby Val on Thursday night and I'll have her overnight until her parents show up on Friday. Wish me luck. She doesn't sleep through the night. <laughs> um, 
And I would like to be at my mom's house. Did I say parents? I, no, when he, when Val's parents show up. Um, I'd like to be at my mom's house for that week. So I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row and get everything done ahead of time because I have a lot of deadlines that I have to meet, whether it's a blog hop or a tutorial project is due or I have the Stamp Happy Live on Tuesday. Um, all kinds of goodies that have to happen. So enough about that. Um, for commenting last time, the winner of the comment was actually from YouTube. And it is Donna Roder of Mesa, Arizona. I have this beautiful eighth inch ribbon in real red that I am going to be sending you. Um, this is, yep, eighth inch grow grain ribbon. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not real red. It's lovely lipstick. Who remembers lovely lipstick? Oh, I love lovely lipstick. Okay, so that's going out for commenting. So if you're new to me, you want to make sure that you leave a comment, whether you say just hello or hi from, you know, um, Holly, Michigan. Um, yeah, leave a message and um, that will enter you in a drawing to win fabulous, fabulous prizes. Next up, I have some blending brushes. Oh my gosh, I love our blending brushes. They're only $12. You get three of them in a pack and this is for sharing my video last time. So someplace on your screen right now, you can click on share and share this to your profile page. And oh my gosh, I so appreciate this. This is how I can grow my business and it allows people to find me that maybe your friends and maybe you didn't even know they enjoyed stamping. So blending brushes for sharing last time. These are going out to Linda Smith of Leroy, New York. Congratulations. These will all be in the mail tomorrow. Last, but certainly never least, for placing an order with me in the last week, I have the Have a Hoot and Peek a Hoot Dies. Now this is Halloween and Christmas. And I think what's really cute is I love that it's kind of anniversary too with those little lovebird hoot owls right there. So I have a whole bundle going out to Anne Howe of Gowanda, New York for placing an order with me. Congratulations, you're gonna love this bundle. I had so much fun with it. Okay, who's ready to stamp? Oh good, I'm glad my camera isn't showing my pants. Do you guys wanna see how silly I look? <laughs> have you guys ever seen that commercial where um, like they're gonna have a meeting, this guy walks into his living room and there's a bunch of people sitting around and he's like, whoa. And he's standing there in his underwear because he thought it was a Zoom meeting. Like he didn't know people were going to be there. And he's like standing there in his underwear. <laughs> that just makes me laugh every single time. I thought about that when I didn't change my clothes. <laughs> I put on my nice shirt. I love this shirt. I think it's really cute, right? But I didn't change the rest of what I'm wearing. And I thought, nah, nobody will see me anyways. <laughs> So now I have to show you. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Because it's pretty crazy. Here we go. The pants and the boots. Do I look like a clown? <laughs> I know I shouldn't tell people secrets like that, but it was so funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're ready to stamp. I have some beautiful, um, I have a really cool fun fold to share with you, first of all, of, of course, right? And um, I also have a little treat holder that I promised I would show on my Facebook Live tonight. So I had a blog hop. Let's see. Oh, I got the card here. Do you, did you guys, whoops, hang on. Do you remember seeing this? This is from a blog hop on my blog. How many of you are subscribed to my blog so that when I put something new on there, you get an email in your email inbox? <laughs> Who just said heart britches? Somebody just said heart britches. Yeah, I'm totally in camouflage with the cute boots. <laughs> they keep my feet warm. I wear them all the time. Anyways, look at this. Look at this. Now on my blog are all the dimensions for this and a video tutorial that shows you exactly how to make it. So if you're not subscribed to my blog, you really should be because I share stuff on there that you don't see on Facebook Live, you don't see on YouTube, 
Um, this is just absolutely gorgeous. This was made by Dee Esplana. She is one of my team members, and I actually received this card. Well, I made this one, but the one she made, I received as part of our team swap in November. We do a swap every month with my team, and whether you're building a business or a discount shopper, it doesn't matter. You can still swap with us. So do that $75 and join my team so you can have all this fun. Anyways, so I got this card. And like I said, all the details are on my blog. But I promised that I would show you guys how to make a matching treat holder. And we're going to flip the camera around. Oh, I should plug my phone in. Hang on. We're going to find the cord to plug in the phone. Okay, there we go. Hey, now doesn't the shirt look nice? I like this one <laughs> with my camel pants. <laughs> Anyways, you know. All right, hang on. I am going to the commercial that had the heart britches. <laughs> I think I've seen that one too. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to flip. Oh, hang on. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. Whoops, whoops. There we go. Did it give you guys some funny message? Because it tells me, whoops, hang on. It tells me, rotate your phone. It doesn't like it. There we go. Let's see if I can get this in the holder for good grief, right? Okay, I gotta make sure I got everything straight here. Facebook Live is a lot different than shooting videos. There we go. Okay, so first of all, if you would like to place an order with me, you're going to find my store on my blog. My blog is like my landing page. It's my home page. It's where everything is. You'll find out all the details in that flyer about what's on sale starting on Tuesday. It's all on my blog. Now, this is my monthly host code, and that's also on my blog. You can find it there anytime you need it, but this host code you want to use it if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. Um, you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those rewards. So, um, I don't know why my comments aren't coming in. Hang on. There they are. Okay. I'm making you dizzy, Cindy. I'm so very sorry. Um, I was having some problems getting my phone into my holder. Okay, so here's that gorgeous card that Dee Esplana, she's from Coparis Cove, Texas, and she's just a phenomenal stamper. Is this not so pretty? Yeah, this uses the Merriest Frames dies and embossing folder and the Merriest Moments stamp set. So, so pretty. Like this is just, oh, uh, it made me giddy when I saw it. All right, so. The treat holder that I'm going to share with you guys tonight uses the Pretty Pillow Box dies. So the first thing I wanted to do was show you these dies and then show you what you can do with various elements in here because there's a lot of goodies in here. So what I did, whoops, let me grab my Painted Christmas. Hang on, we're going to find the Painted Christmas. Here it is. This is the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. By the way, my bingo class on December 1st, we're going to be using this paper, which means you're going to get some of this paper in with your pre-cut cardstock pack. But um, And, and it's not going to be Christmas cards in the bingo packet. I mean, they're, yeah, well, I don't know. Um, not, not Christmas cards, but I'm going to be using the other sides of these designer series papers so you can get a lot more ideas out of it, right? Um, it's not just about Christmas, and I love that Stampin' Up! does that. This isn't Christmas, that's not Christmas, or it could be. This isn't Christmas. Um, this is kind of Christmassy with the evergreen in there, but this certainly isn't, right? This makes great man cards, great man cards, just fantastic paper. So this is the paper that I decided to use. And what I did is I took the big die here, oops, and I ran it through my die cutting machine and die cut one of these little jewels, okay? Exactly what I did. 
Now, what I wanted to show you is all these fun little elements here. Like, for example, this little piece. You can put this right up here and it will die cut those little holes out of whatever you happen, whatever cardstock you're using. The other thing we have is it'll do, it'll emboss at the top right there, which is really cute. And, and lots of, lots of little elements. And then we have this one where you can die cut two holes and then tie ribbon. You can put ribbon through there so you can fasten your little treat holder. It also comes with this frame in here, another label frame, some flowers, and a tag. So I wanted to show you how easy these are to make, and I'm gonna make mine at Christmas. The, um, the score lines that are already on here there's score lines, and you just fold on your score lines. And then on the ends, you have the round score lines, just like that. I'm gonna grab my um, tear and tape. And who else watched football today? Is everybody watching football? Is everybody crazy like me? I shouldn't say crazy. I like to watch the Packers. I watched the game before that too, kind of. A little bit from the back of my eyelids, but not a lot. <laughs> I did fall asleep for a little bit. <laughs> not during the Packers, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take a mini glue dot. We've got this all folded. You just push on it with your fingers. And I'm gonna put a mini glue dot right here. And then Fold this together. That's going to keep those ends in. Again, do this with your fingers. I'm going to put a little mini glue dot on this one. These are really simple to make. This is a great little treat holder for like kids' school treats. Um, you can make up a bunch of these and hand them out to the teachers at your schools. Look at how cute that is, right? Now, what fits in here? Wow. Let me show you. We've got uh, dark chocolate sea salt caramel, thanks to um, Mary Olson, who got me hooked on these. That fits in there perfectly. You could probably even fit, here, um, I do have another one. <laughs> could fit, um, no, I would say one. <laughs> one is the max, okay? Now, how are you gonna fasten this together? Well, let me grab some ribbon. See, I have this piece of our ruffled red ribbon. And I think, yeah, this is gonna be way long enough. I don't know what I cut it for, but I had it cut for something. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around here. Can you see this as stocking stuffers too? Or perhaps at your job, you could do Secret Santa, little Secret Santa items. That would be super cute. I think this is maybe a little too small for a gift card, so just know that. I don't want anybody to think they're gonna be big enough to put a gift card in, because it's, it's smaller than that. But the next thing that I show you will be big enough, so you probably will want this anyways. <laughs> just gonna put that right out there. Okay, so here's our little, here's our little bow. And I'm gonna snippy off these ends. Whoops, come on, you little bugger. There we go. And I'm gonna put that kind of right at the top. And then what I wanted to do was just a tiny bit of stamping. So let me grab my season's greetings here. And I'm looking for my real red ink pad, which should be in here. Did you guys see me take ink pads out? No? Huh. Well. What did I do with real red? Hang on, I must have loaded it in something else. Oh yeah, I did, I know where it is. I've got so much stuff loaded up right now that I'm working with. I always take all my stuff and put it in one of these bins so that it helps me stay like less discombobulated. <laughs> Can you guys relate to that, being discombobulated? 
Yeah. Did you know that the Milwaukee airport actually has a place when you come out of security, once you go through security, they call it the decombobulation area. <laughs> There's a whole sign and everything. It's pretty funny. So I'm using Real Red Ink and this beautiful season's greetings. And this is from um, Marius Moments. It's got some really pretty font and some really nice sentiments in there. And then we're going to take... We're gonna take this die and we're gonna die cut our season's greetings and then we're gonna die cut from real red, okay? Um, and you know what? I don't think I wanted real red. I think I wanted cherry cobbler. So let me grab some cherry cobbler because I want this to be good and decent and right, right? Okay, so not real red. We want cherry cobbler. So let me die cut this real quick. There we go, there's our cherry cobbler. And then I have this one done already. Let me put my die back so I don't lose it. Okay, now I wanted a little frame around this so that it really sticks out better. So I'm going to cut this in half and take my liquid glue Here we go. And I'm just going to offset that a little bit so that I can see that cherry cobbler on the end. Now, I thought it was really interesting that the card that Dee made, she used real red ink on the flowers instead of the deeper cherry cobbler. And I really think, and on the sentiments, it really makes it pop more, don't you think? I, I would have never done that, but as I looked at it, I'm like, that's not cherry cobbler. That's real red. And I do love the way that that really makes this really rich and beautiful. And then the, and the brightness of the ink. I don't know. It just worked for me. Okay. So this is what the back of your little thing looks like. I'm going to grab my dimensionals. And let's see, we're going to put this right here on the front of our little treat packaging. And I think I am going to use dimensionals, but I have to make sure I don't put them way out at the end because I don't want them sticking off, right? So these are the little pillow boxes. This is what the die does. And of course, you know that Stampin' Up! Demonstrator is always figuring out other things to do with this one thing, right? That's what we're good at. We're good at showing so many different things. So then when somebody gets this, they're just going to untie it and they're going to be able to open it. And there we have it. You could even tack your... Um, um, uh, ribbon down under here with the glue dot so it doesn't move. You could do the same thing up here as put a glue dot up here. But here's our cute little treat favor. And I'm going to wrap this back up so I can take photos of this. You guys know that all the projects that I make in my Facebook Lives are actually um, put on my blog right here. After I'm done tonight, I will work feverishly into the wee hours, getting photographs done and edited and uploaded, as well as downloading this video to YouTube. And all of these projects that I make, you will find still photos on, on my blog, along with a replay of this video. There we go. Isn't that cute? Super duper cute. And of course, all of our designer paper is gorgeous because it's double-sided, so you have pretty on the inside too. Now, I have another little treat. And let me get my dimensions out here. For this, by the way, I just cut a piece of paper that was as big as this. So there's not really any dimensions for this little bugger. It's just die cut. We're going to be using that beautiful gold shimmer ribbon. Thank you, Jackie Unger. I'm happy to see you on here. Um, and here comes. Oh, here we go. So I'm using cherry cobbler. And I am going to 
take, these are, this is just a half a sheet of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half. You know, you don't need it that big, but I'm going to die cut this two times. So I'm going to have two of these. And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that. Whoops, hang on, things are falling. So here's our two um, pillow boxes. The next thing we need to do is we need to take another layer. We're going to put a little holder in between the pillow boxes to make a more substantial treat holder or gift card holder or just a gift box bag. So this piece is five and a half by seven and a quarter. And I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and we're going to score this at two inches on all four sides. So super duper easy. No funny measurements, no crazy anything here. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. I love things when they're like that. Do you guys really like that? Yeah, you're not going, good grief. <laughs> I know sometimes the, the, the things that I give you can be kind of crazy, right? The dimensions. So now we're going to cut on the score lines on the long side here. And the other long side. And when I say long side, I mean this is longer than this. So when you're reading my instructions um, on my blog to recreate this, that's what I mean when I say the long side. The long side, the short side. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to take and I'm going to cut off. Oops, that's not very straight, is it? There we go. I'm going to cut off the corners from the very edge score line right here to the tip. This is like the easiest little box in the history of the universe to make. I'm not even kidding. You could actually use this for a multitude of things. Okay, grab your bone folder. Let's get a drink first. What is everybody drinking tonight? You guys know what I'm drinking. I'm so boring. Mm. I'm drinking strawberry lemonade. I love my strawberry lemonade. It has some caffeine in it that helps me stay awake, <laughs> gives me energy, and hopefully is a calorie reducer, meaning that it burns calories. I don't really know if it does, but I like it. And I always have people ask me, where is my strawberry lemonade from? It's from Optavia, O P T. A-V-I-A, -A, Optavia. Okay, this looks pretty crazy, right? Now, we're going to take this and flip it over. This is the outside. If you wanted to stamp or do any of that right now would be the time to do it. I'm going to take my tear and tape. Anytime I'm making a box, I'm using tear and tape because I know my boxes won't fall apart. And... I would hate to get someplace with one of my cute little boxes and hand it to somebody and have it fall apart. Like that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not gonna happen to this girl. <laughs> I see lots of water, iced tea after she finished her hot tea. Elaine's got some wine. You go, girl. I did have an um, Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with olives. I went out to dinner with Anna the other night. And so that was my drink. And oh, you guys know I love them. My mom also loves them. I might have to buy her a bottle of Southern Comfort. I don't know if she'd actually have a drink at home. Like, we don't do that. I don't know why. Just when we go places or out in the garage. <laughs> There's alcohol out there. <laughs> you guys know I'm not a real big drinker. Although, it's getting... I'm uh, breaking records. <laughs> okay, so see what I've done there? Crisscross. So you're just going to pull these in like this and then square up those corners. Whoops, square up those corners. And whoops, don't stick, don't stick, don't do it. Dang it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I didn't have it in place where I needed it. So that's why I'm like pulling it apart. I want it to be nicely squared up here. There we go. Whew. Okay, look at that. Is that not the cutest little box? You saw how simple it was, right? 
Okay, now what we're going to do, um, we are going to take a piece of designer series paper, and this is two and a half by four and three quarters. And I am going to put it on one of these little pillows, okay? And run it through my die cutting machine. And when I do that, I'm gonna get this, okay? And then I'll show you what happened here. Um, I just ran it through like this and it die cut it Okay, don't worry about the score lines, not a big deal. And then we're gonna take this little label. Um, I've got my real red ink here. And I'm going to do, where's our joyful? A joyful Christmas to you and yours. Scrap of white. Isn't that so pretty? Like, I love funky fonts. When they get done making my um, stamp set, I get a I get to design a stamp set for my million dollar achievement. When they get done making my stamp set, it better have some really funky fonts in it. <clears throat> and I hope you girls in concept art are listening to me. <laughs> some of them watch me. That's a little unnerving, but I'm I'm forever grateful. Concept artists at Stampin' Up! are super fun and super nice, and I absolutely had so much fun with them when I was out in Salt Lake City. Okay, we're going to die cut this. Then we're going to die cut an Evening Evergreen, which is one of the colors that I goes with the Painted Christmas DSP. Once we get that done, I don't know why I grabbed that tape, because I'm totally cheated here. <laughs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Okay, then... Like we did with the other tag where we made it longer, this one we're gonna make taller. And I love doing this because it just gives your dies a whole other option, benefit, whatever you wanna call it, right? And I love borders around stuff because when I put, when I was designing this little treat holder, I didn't have the border on there at first and I'm like, oh, that white just blends in, look at, the white just blends in and it's so plain and I need something. So this is what I came up with. Get those scissors out of my way. There we go. And then I kind of like to look at the back and make sure it's straight, right? <laughs> that it's just helpful. Okay. Um, this piece we're going to trim on the score lines and I know you guys can't see them but trust me that they're here and you will be able to see them when you do this in real life. So I'm cutting on the score lines for the pillow box. Here we go and now I'm going to bring in oh you know what there's one more thing that I would like to do. I think what I would like to do is I would like to do this and have those holes for my ribbon. So, get that right there. This is just temporary tape. I like to use it. You can use washi tape, whatever works, to hold my die in place so it doesn't move on me. I'm gonna bring my machine in. Now you guys know for sure I really have a machine. <laughs> I know, it's always like magic when I'm on here live, right? Denise says she does that a lot with her sentiments, too. I don't know why my messages are not coming up on my iPad. But once I touch it, now they're there again. It's so weird. Okay, so there's our holes for our ribbon. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Make sure I can see this good. Oops. Sorry if I'm jiggling you. My desk is a lot more sturdy than it used to be. This is my, you know, my old desk was really jiggly. Okay. I just put my tape back on there and use it over and over again until it's like a mangled mess like this one. <laughs> yeah, works pretty good. Okay. 
Now we've got some great holes there to put our ribbon through. So I'm gonna fold on the score lines, just these score lines, not the side pillow ones, okay? So just these, remember we're modifying this. This is like a souped up version of the pretty pillow box. And we're gonna take this and we're going to put this right on the front. And because I die cut it, it's perfect. You could actually, you know, cut, cut, and then trim the edges from the back too, if you know what I mean, that'll work. And here comes. You could do this on the other piece if you wanted to. I'm not going to. Now I'm gonna take um, some dimensionals And I'm gonna add this to the front. I'm gonna leave that for now. I just, placement, I'm gonna wait until I get my ribbon in here. Okay, so these two pieces are going to go together. And again, I'm gonna use tear and tape. I don't know that it's really necessary on here, but mm, why not? then I know it's not gonna fall apart. But make sure that you get it lined up properly because you don't really get a second chance with this stuff. You can throw some glue in here if you want to, just for a little extra. How many of you use your take your pick tool to pick off this backing stuff? Cause like I can't ever get a hold of it, but this makes it super duper easy. Hi Helen. Glad you could join, whether you're late or not. You can always go back and watch the, the beginning, right? Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't do that. Do you see what I did? There's a little notch out here and I have my um, tear and tape sticky right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fake it. You've heard that. Fake it till you make it. Yep, watch this. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't hit that million for nothing. That's pretty genius. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, Debbie says she loves her take your pick tool. Mm, I do too, right? Okay, now... I have a piece of 13 inches. I have a 13 inch piece of ribbon here. Which tip do I use to pull the backing? I use my pokey tool for just about everything. Um, it has the spatula end. I never use that. I, I use my pokey tool for everything. I don't know, but I've seen people use it. Oh, here we go. Here's our little box. Remember, we are making a modified version. So one thing I wanna do before I glue anything together is I want to put my fingers in the middle of each side and press down. And now I've made like a little gift bag type thing, right? See what I did there? Now I'm gonna put some tear and tape on the bottom here. Don't put it on the bottom of this, put it on the bottom of your box because your box is not as wide as that and we'll have the same trouble that I just had <laughs> with the tear and tape. Yeah, Kathy says she's got three take your pick tools. I have three also. I have one that I keep right here by me. It's always like right here. I have one that I send with my helpers when I send stuff out for them to make for me. And then I have another one is right here with the take your, the take your pick tool with the die brush adapter on it. So I just keep this one right in here. And then, of course, use that pokey end to poke out the little pieces out of dies and stuff. So, yeah, I've got three of them also. They are just an amazing tool. I don't know. Oh, crap. Did you see that? <laughs> Look what I did. Oh, whew. Did anybody see that was happening? Or was anybody yelling at me going, Kelly, you're wrecking your label. Anyways, yeah, I like my take your pick tools. Make sure you push the tear and tape down on there so that when you try to pick the back off, the sticky part stays there. Just give it a good little, I kind of scratch it with my fingernail to make sure it's sticking on there. 
Okay, man, here we go. Now, get my hair out of there. Okay, then I am going to, just gonna take a look at this. I want this centered right in the middle. Now, if you want to, you could have cut a little bit off of each side here to make this fit up in the fold line snugly, but I didn't, and I'm not gonna worry about that. This is gonna be very cool. Um, I have got some of this beautiful shred, and it's Hallmark shred. I have to tell you, I've had it for a very long time, like probably 10 years. I found it in the basement. <laughs> You know, where my husband says I'm a hoarder. And maybe I'm a little hoardish down there. But not any place else. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then you can... Where did my candy go? I had some... Oh, here's some candies. Do you guys like these kind of candies? My husband loves these. He bought this huge container. I do not like them. They're not... They're not fun for me. There's no chocolate. <laughs> um, and then... You can fit a gift card, oops, right down in here. Okay, well, maybe not. Oh, darn it. Well, we could put it right there. Oh, that's a good idea. Stick it right in here. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> Use some glue dots and stick it right on here. Okay, just make, it, oh, people are gonna be able to see that it's there because we're not gonna fasten this down. We're going to add this ribbon. So I've got this cut at a sharp angle. And I am going to put my ribbon through and pinch it together so you can get your ribbon threaded through that other one. And oh, look how pretty this is. I love this gold ribbon. Mm, love it. Now this was on back order, but I think it's coming back in soon. We have some other gold ribbon too. It's not as shiny as this, but it's still equally as pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Hang on, I'll show this to you in a second when I get this little bow figured out. Okay, I'm gonna trim this off. Oh, my stomach is growling. You know what I did yesterday? I ate too much. Steve made chili again. Well, actually he had it in the freezer for a year, but it's still good. Isn't that crazy? A year. Anyways, he made he made some chili a year ago, and I ate some yesterday, and I ate too much, and my stomach, I just felt terrible. And it wasn't nothing wrong with the chili, I just ate too much. So it was just like, ugh. I hate it when you do that. Okay, here comes our little label, you guys. Ah, let me get this centered. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Cutie patootie. What do you guys think? I know, right? Now, here is another one that I made. This one has the pillow rounded edges on the outside. This one, I put in my paper cutter. I cut a little bit off the bottom so that it was narrower. See what I mean there? And I cut the pillow parts off to make it, where's my measure deal? You know, that thing called a ruler. Um, this one is three and a half. So three and a half inches from here to here. And again, it's got the candy and the shred in it. These are great secret Santa treat holders. Like I said, you could put a gift card in here. I never give gift cards as gifts just all by themselves. Like here, here's your gift card. I think that's lazy. And now I'm being really judgy. But as a paper crafter, you should never give a gift card without something cool. A little bit of candy, maybe a pack of gum. Um, I make homemade caramels. I could, you know, wrap some of those and put them in here. Like, what a great little way to say, here's your gift card. It's not boring. <laughs> That's what I like, right? Okay, so here was my little ensemble that I promised. Look at this. Is this not just... <sighs> Got a little bit of ribbon in here under these flowers. I use the gold gilded gems. Such a pretty set, right? Yeah. 
Helen says she does the same thing. She gives, she does something with the gift cards to make them spectacular. As a paper crafter, it's kind of the law. I don't want anybody getting arrested for not taking full advantage of paper crafting um, opportunities, right? <laughs> okay, let me put this stuff away. I'm not going to put it away. I'm going to throw it out of my way. Oh, I needed to show you this. This is another little pillow box made with the um, gingerbread paper and the little gingerbread set, same ribbon. And this one, they didn't put glue dots on the ends. So you can actually open up the ends here. Oh, and it's those hateful candies. <laughs> I'm teasing, I, but I don't like them. I give these to Steve and Molly. Molly likes them too. <laughs> hateful candies. <laughs> That's really rude. Yeah. Okay. Hang tight Well, I bring in the coolest little fun fold ever, you guys. I can't even believe that this is the first time I've ever seen this fun fold. And it's, it's so cool. Okay, I'm missing a die. I'm missing this die right here. Oh, here it is. Did you notice how I was like, I'm missing a die? <laughs> okay. Let me get these put out of my way. Here we go. Um, I'll just set these right over here so I can bring them back out when we're done. Don't let me forget to show you my mail. I um, <laughs> Jean says she doesn't like those candies either. Neither does Debbie. Well, there you go. Non-chocolate candies. Uh, no. <laughs> Marsha, no. <laughs> um, Nancy says she always makes something to give gift cards in. She tries to find unique ways to give cash. I have some cash holders too, Nancy. And I've been thinking about what I'm going to share with you guys over the next few weeks because, you know, a lot of people are done with their Christmas cards, right? Oh, let me come back to this. This would be a great card to put your family photo right here or to put a gift card. Where did that gift card go? Right here. Let me grab this one. Right. Gift card. You could use glue dots and stick it right here. This would be a great gift card holder. So anyways, <laughs> Denise says her husband eats them all the time and she hates them. I totally understand. Um, over the next few weeks, until we get up to Christmas, I'm going to be showing you more gift card holders, um, more ideas like, like this, and more non-Christmas cards. Because as we're starting to get closer to Christmas, we're kind of done making Christmas cards, right? I mean, I'm not going to guarantee anything, but I want to be sharing stuff that with you guys that is useful. D is on here. And she says this can sit as an easel card. Oh, let me look at yours, Dee. Dee said this is an easel card. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It kind of, do you, is this what you mean, Dee? It like kind of stands up by itself. Look at that. That is so cool. Dee is on here and she is the mastermind behind this beauty. Yay. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Um, next up, get these gross little candies out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. The Penguin. The Penguin Punch is supposed to be in November 15th, which is this coming week, the week of November 15th. I just want to let you guys know that I have some people waiting for them. One of my bingo winners actually is waiting for one. And I've got it on my radar, so don't worry. But the I don't know if you guys caught the beginning of 60 Minutes tonight before I came on. But um, the shipping containers, they're all sitting out in California at the docks. That is going to become a big problem. Um, it's going to become a much bigger problem than it is right now for us. Uh, Stampin' Up! has been talking with us, telling us that we are going to be seeing more and more delays. So um, just know that it's coming and there's not gonna be anything we're gonna do about it. So we're gonna be patient, okay? 
<laughs> that's what we're going to be because it is what it is. And I do not lose a lot of sleep over things I have no control over. That is just kind of a motto I live by in life and it has served me well. I have very low blo blood pressure because I don't get too excited about the things I have no control over. Okay, Penguin Place, super duper cute. 28 different stamps in this little bugger. Now, this card that I'm gonna show you, it's super cute, but it's, it's a lot. So, what I really wanna show you is the actual fun fold part of it, okay? Um, oh, I know what that is because that's gonna be the most important part for you. How you decorate this is gonna be completely up to your discretion. Uh-oh, hang on. Oh, I'm like, where are my dimensions? I got them right here. Gosh, I'm getting really hungry. Hope I don't gnaw an arm off or anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Regular card base. This is balmy blue. And we're just going to fold this together. Now, the cool thing about this fun fold is you can take absolutely any card that you have and turn it into this gift card holder fun fold thing. So, first thing we're going to do here is I've got my white craft pad. Um, I always forget to say this. If you guys order the white craft ink pad from me, Stampin' Up!, you will get an empty ink pad and a bottle of re-inker, ink refill, okay? You get a bottle of this and an empty ink pad, and you shake this up and scribble it on there, scribble, 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 and then you take a spoon and you smush it down into that um, squishy ink pad, um, but you get the re-inker and the ink pad all together, and if you don't have a white ink pad get yourself one they're really fun especially this time of year so tap 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 and we're going isn't that not super cute right that is just super cute we're gonna put some snowflakes and you notice i'm turning my card all around because i don't want my snowflakes to look all uniform so i turn and turn and turn and turn and that'll do it i don't need more ink than that on here Okay, now, oh, and just so you know, I've got my chamois out here. This cleans off just like anything else. It's clean, cleaned right off. This rinses out. It's not a big deal. At least it never has been for me. Okay, here comes. This is the inside of our card. And what we're going to do with this, this, by the way, is four and a half by 11 and we are going to score this at five and a half we could actually just fold it in half if you wanted to but i'm going to score and i was thinking about this why aren't we scoring all the pieces that need to be scored all the score lines and i think it's because you're going to have better control this way so you're going to you're going to you're going to fold this in half and now you're going to bring this back to the edge. And I think that if you use measurements, you know, you could have it where it doesn't actually meet up with the edge and it's not perfect, where this way it's going to be perfect. It's going to be a lot easier. So that's why we're only doing one score line at five and a half. And then we're folding both of these back to the edge. And it's going to be perfect every time, even if you can't measure like me. Right? I have a hard time getting things absolutely perfect. Okay. Um, next thing. Well, how am I going to show this to you? Um, you're going to decorate up this inside panel. Okay. You're going to do all the things you want to do to it before you do anything else. And then you're going to cut off the edge here. This is going to be your gift card holder. And it doesn't matter. The measurement makes no difference. This right here is up about one and a half, one and a quarter inches from the bottom. So from that score line down to here, okay? Don't get too um, 
fixated or on that angle because it really doesn't matter. All right, the inside of your card, I'm just gonna keep this all together and I want this to come over about this far. Okay, so I'm just, I don't, you, you know, you just center it this way and then make sure it's straight on this side. And again, I'm gonna use tear and tape because it's just stronger and I don't want my card falling apart. Like it's just not, it's not cool if my card falls apart. Okay, so I've got it on both edges here and now I'm gonna put it over here. Now here's the thing over here. This is where our gift card is gonna go. So I am going to make my tear and tape a little bit thinner. I've got two pieces just like this. I'm gonna put one of them right here. And then one of them right here. And then I need a little bit more for this edge. So we'll just see how much I need. Am I still in my camera? I should pay attention to that. I'm just busy doing my own thing. <laughs> I'll put a little bit right here and then maybe a little bit more right there and I'll put a little little sliver at the bottom. Okay push that down good so that when you go to peel that backing off with your take your pick tool it's sticking where it needs to be sticking. It looks like this. We've got a mountain, a valley, a mountain, and then the slanted edge. You're gonna keep this all together, and I'm going to put it about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch from the side. Okay, just like that. Then, the easiest way to do this, I used to always try to like take it over here and try to make it fit. No, 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 no. You just take the backing off and close your card, okay? Don't make it hard on yourself trying to get everything lined up. Ready? That's it. Here's the inside. This is so cool. Where did our gift card holder go? Or I mean our gift card. Anybody? Oh, here's one right here. Here we go. Gift card fits right in there. Again, you can take any card and make it a gift card holder. And you'd stamp on these and you do all kinds of things to these before you um, put this in here, okay? You get all your decorating done. I wanna show you how to make the front of my super cute card. Here, let me show you my super cute card first. Here's my little Maurice's gift card. Are you guys ready for this? Ah! <laughs> the penguins. The penguins are so stinking adorable, aren't they? Yay! Here we go. Here is my inside. So I take this piece right here is two and a quarter by three and a half. It's balmy blue. You can do whatever you want in here. You could make this into designer paper, whatever you want to do. But I've got the um, little little antlers right here on my penguin. I've got the little rubber nose. I put a little bow tie on him and added the feet. Now, the horns had to be fussy cut. This is not for the wimpy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if you hate to fussy cut, you could maybe stamp them using dark brown right on the blue and then add your penguin. That would probably work too. If you guys notice closely, I actually fussy cut these perfectly and then dropped them in the red ink pad. There might have been naughty words, just saying. Then we have this little guy. He is the penguin again with a present and a blue scarf and the little feet. 
Here's the other one with the hat, red scarf, and the little feet. Whoops. Here's one of the little Christmas trees. Yep, there's Christmas trees in here. And I stamped the season's greetings right here. Now I wanted to show you guys. Do you guys love this? Isn't this cool? Yay! I know, super, super fun and easy. Um, this was really putsy. I'm not going to lie. That this These penguins are, you know, they're a lot of putts. But when you have a lot of parts like that, you're going to get a lot of putts, right? It just is what it is. But... I want to show you how to make this front part. So let's do that quick. I am going to take my balmy blue ink and you have this swoosh line here. And this is absolutely perfect for your snow. And I'm going to ink this up. This, by the way, is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white. And I'm going to stamp this right here like this, okay? And then I think I'm gonna turn this over. I, I stamped it like this. Now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Well, that looks really uniform, doesn't it? Um, hang on, I don't like it. <laughs> it's my card. I can redo it if I want. So let's try this again. There we go. And then, oh, this is gonna be better. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, now, uh, where's my white card stuck? Right here. Oops, I got all my little scraps here. We are going to Oh, here's my little pieces. We are going to stamp our penguin. This is our sliding down the hill penguin. So we're gonna stamp that. And then we're gonna grab, that's Memento Black Ink, by the way. Then we're gonna grab our um, pumpkin pie. There are two different beaks in here. One beak is going sideways and the other beak goes straight up and down. So the sideways beak is the one that you want to grab for this penguin. Okay, do you see how different that is? Where did that other one go? Here it is. Um, let's grab another scrap here and we'll just do the other penguin and I'll show you the difference. And if I look at my punch, my penguin punches out upside down. So I'm gonna stamp them upside down so that'll be easier. Now here comes, oh, that's our sideways nose. We want our up and downy nose. <laughs> and we're gonna put that right there. Can I see the difference between those two? Okay, then I've got the feet and I am going to Punch out the feet. We need two feet for this little guy, one foot for this guy, and I also. Do, 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 do. There they are. I also need a tree. So here comes our tree. Boom. And a scarf. Where's our scarf? All these little bits and pieces are so much fun. Like, I think I'm going to have Molly over. Um, we'll have her this week again. We usually get her on Tuesdays. I'm going to have Molly and have her make some things up with these penguins. I think she'll get a big kick out of them. Okay, here's my red ink. This is my snow layer. And I'm going to stamp, be cool, be chill, be merry with real red ink right down here. Okay, now we can do our thing with this. I'm gonna take this top little swooshy deal and I'm gonna cut it. Okay. 
just like that. We're going to add it to the front of our card with glue. I can find the glue. Make sure I got the right side out here. I'm going to put this on here just like this. We're going to punch this little buddy out. And then the feet. And the these, well this little foot can be punched out. But these two have, oh yeah. Uh, these two have to be fussy cut, okay? And so does this little scarf. So I've already done that. And here we go. Oh, and we needed a red hat. Sorry, I forgot that. So what I did is I am going to... Does anybody know... I had my mini dimensionals right here and I swore to, oh, here they are. I'm like, I swore that I would not lose them. <laughs> I shouldn't swear. Don't, there's no swears. <laughs> okay, so here's my little penguin guy. Oh, good Lord. Holy cow, those are really strong. And I think I'm going to put him right over here this time. And we've got a little tree here. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I shouldn't have glued this white layer on yet, but we're going to like hopefully know that I'm a professional. I can't try this at home. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Here's his little foot. I put a mini dimensional on it. And now this little foot is gonna go like right back here because he's like whew, going down the hill, right? Okay, here comes our little, this guy. And we have some feet here for him. So I'm just gonna put a little dot here, a little dot here. Before I forget to tell you guys, I will not be live next Sunday night. Just know that. Okay, before I forget. All right, I wanna put this red hat on this penguin. So what I'm gonna do is put a dimensional way at the top of my hat. So then I can kind of layer it over his little head. Just like that, okay? Isn't he cute? Look how cute he is. All right, scarf, I'm gonna glue that on. like that. Let me get those out of the way. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this penguin. Oh, hang on, because we got to stamp some trees. Let's get our green ink out. I used garden green and I'm going to grab a post-it note. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to add this post-it note right down here. Where'd my tree go? Do you guys see the tree? Oh, here it is. <laughs> what happens to things? And I'm going to stamp a tree. And I put that down there so it wouldn't go on my blue line, right? See how smart, huh? And then I want a tree that's a little bit, like it's kind of looks like it's down over the hill. Just like that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I know, right? And then we have our other penguin that I took the backing off and he's stuck to here. Did you guys see that? Yeah. <laughs> here comes our other penguin. We're gonna put him right here. I do like this offset better. My other card, I forgot to do that. And then I have some of these fabulous silver and clear epoxy essentials. And 
ah, I love, I love them all, but the clear ones look really nice on here. So I'm just going to add some little clear circles all over. You could do some Wink of Stella on here. That would be really fun. Oh, so many fun. What do you guys think? Is that not just the cutest? So there's the front of my card. And then here's the inside. And again, I just made more penguins and put them on these blue layers. These are two and a quarter, two and a quarter by three and a half. This inside layer is four and a half by 11 scored in the middle at five and a half and then you fold each side into the middle to give you four quarters that are the same. Then I cut this from the score line all the way down to about one and a half, one and a quarter inches up from the bottom. It's not an exact science. Stamp the inside, season's greeting, little tree. I also put little white snowflakes all over my blue layer. Is that not super duper cute? Any card can be turned into a gift card. You could actually make cards too. If you have business cards, you could put your business card in here. This would be a great thing to hand out business cards. Like here's my, if you're a demonstrator, you know, it's a great way to, um, yeah, do that. So yeah, see this one I did a little different. I put a penguin here and a penguin here. And this one I had both penguins and I like this one better. Oh my gosh, you guys, was this so fun? I had so much fun making these cards. Well, the cards and the treat holders. I just thought were super good for this time of year. We need gift card holders, right? And what better way? You could actually make birthday cards with these too. They don't have to be Christmas. But these are sweet little pillow boxes. Perfect for Secret Santa, perfect for stocking stuffers, perfect when you meet a friend for lunch and you want to give them a card and a little something to go with it. It's not going to cost you a bunch of money. A little gift card holder if you want it to, throw that in there. Here's a modified one. Here's one that's, you know, the full size. Oh my goodness. How did I do? Did you guys learn something new tonight? That is always my goal is to share something new with you. Yes, Teresa says she likes them offset. I do too. I just think they look better. I wasn't thinking about that when I was making my first one. This was my this was my you know first prototype one. So they always learn stuff, right? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I had so much fun making these for you. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching me and following me and sharing with me and commenting. All of that helps me grow my Stampin' Up! business. Remember, this is my blog address. If you'd like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. If you don't have any um, catalogs, I'd be happy to send them to you. If you're in the U.S., pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. Also, this is my current host code. If you do place an order, please use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Also, for those of you who may be getting your order together for the sale that starts on Tuesday, please remember, if your order is going to be somewhere around $75, take the plunge, join my team. You will not be disappointed. There's no strings attached. You're going to be able to put those sale items into your kit you get $50 free. The kit is $75. You get to choose $125 in product. Anything you want for only $75, which means you get $50 free. Stampin' Up! Discount shoppers and demonstrators get a 20% discount. Once you join Stampin' Up! If we have a sale that happens, you get another 20% off the sale price. So it's pretty darn cool. I hope you'll take the plunge. I see Judy on here. Judy is one of my newest discount shoppers. She just took the plunge. And I'm so happy that you did, Judy. I think you're really going to enjoy it. There's a whole other world out there for 
you guys that are stampers that you can be a part of and you definitely should be getting a discount on your product. Okay, hang tight. I'm gonna grab my mail and share some fun things with you. Let me set these out of the way. My mom just asked for um, sympathy cards. She's out of sympathy cards and I need to get some made for her. Gosh, look at this. Isn't this pretty? This is from Wendy Morse. She is on my team and she um, made this from the bingo class that we had last month. This was one of our make and takes. And she did, I did mine in orange and red and she did hers in blue and green. And she says, I really enjoy, oops, hang on. Here's the inside. I really enjoy bingo and stamping. This design is my favorite. It's versatile with color, layout, and sentiment. Thanks for a great night. Looking forward to the next one. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, easy. Easy card to make with the frames and te textures and frames. This was our free celebration set. All right, next up, we have Lori Callie sent me this beautiful card. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate you. And look at how cool that is. Like, I love this. Lori, thank you so much. She also put um, um, a flower on the envelope. And I have... Uh, I have your rewards form. Um, Lori is in my technique club and she just completed her first six months. So she gets a $30 product credit from me. This is from Jamie Lency, also another team member. And look how beautiful. I love this cork paper. Like, oh, I just love it. And she used a little bit of that clear um, glimmer Used to be like our crystal effects to make that pumpkin shiny too. Isn't that pretty? And here's the inside of Jamie's card. And Jamie says, thanks so much for the gold ribbon and the dimensionals I won at the team meeting. I'm so thankful to be on your team. You make everything fun. Now, if I could retire to be more active and stampin' up. There you go, Jamie. I got my fingers crossed for you, sister. <laughs> There you go. Oh, somebody's having surgery. I missed who is having surgery. I wish you well. Um, oh, and then, oh, look at this cute little thing. This is homemade paper. I met with um, Hillary Rath. She is the paper lab educator at the Paper Discovery Center in Appleton. I think I, did I tell you guys I was going to go meet with her? Anyways, look at this. She made this. Isn't this fun? And she put her business card in here. So let me find, I've got a business card laying right here. She put her business card in here. You could also use this as a gift card holder, but it's kind of origami. It's got um, some paper in here that you could write some notes on. Isn't this cool? Yes, she bought me lunch the other day. We went to the Weather Vane in downtown Appleton. Oh, so, or I mean, Menasha. It was so good. Chicken dumpling soup. Mmm, delightful. So that was really nice to meet her. Uh, here comes another card. This one is from Lanny Rhodes. What a beautiful difference one single life makes. I love the simplicity of this layout. And of course, that paper is so pretty. She received the snowflake sequins and the other goodies. What a delight. God bless. Thank you so much, Lanny. Glad you enjoyed them. Then we have this beauty. Look at this. This is from Terry Mullinex. She's also on my team. Look how pretty that is. Thank you so much for my envelope challenge gift. It's an honor being on your team. You are a great leader and all you, and all you do is greatly appreciated. Terry, you're so sweet. I love this. It's really pretty. Thank you so much for the beautiful card. Then we've got Connie Pelzer. Look at this beauty. Holy cow, right? Um, so grateful. She says, thanks for the happy mail. You don't know how excited I was to see that gold ribbon. Mine has been on back order and I've been patiently waiting for it to come back in stock. Oh, I'm so happy, Connie. I love the black and white right? With the yellow, so pretty. 
Well, I'm glad I could make your day, that's for sure. And last, but, oh, no, not last. We have Mary Stroman. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> that bedazzling paper. And this is the um, gingerbread paper. So pretty. Little thanks so much in there. Thanks again for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet up. Oh, we had lunch. Oh, it was delightful. Look at how pretty that is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love this. Now, last but not least, what do we got here? Oh, I remember this. This is from Terry Mullinax. Thank you so much for the surprise sweets. Um, treat stamp set. The sweets and treats stamp set. Can't wait to work with it. And she says, sorry for the delayed Halloween card. Had health issues and had trouble finishing up. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Look at these cards she sent me. Envelopes decorated. Look at that. And then look at this one. Ah, that's the envelope. Isn't that cool? Yeah, she did just a phenomenal job. This is so pretty. So very pretty. Terry, you are a wonderful stamper. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I waited. I wanted to eat this right away because I love Hershey's chocolate. Like... I love Hershey's chocolate. So, this was the wrapper that was on the chocolate bar. And I'm going to have this now because I'm very hungry. <laughs> thank you guys so much, Terry. Thank you for the chocolate. I really desperately needed some chocolate. I'm not even lying. <laughs> like, Steve's been hoarding candy out in the garage. He brought me in some peanut M&Ms last night, which was really nice. But yeah, he's and he's got Kit Kats out there too. This is not fair. Not quite sure why he's keeping the chocolate from me. But I have some now. <laughs> all right, you guys. I will be getting all of these projects loaded up on my blog with a replay of this video. You can also, once we're done being live, you can come right back on my Facebook page. And the video should be available for you to watch from the beginning if you missed it. And... Uh, Gosh, I will not, I don't know if I'll see you before Thanksgiving. Probably not. I want to wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that you get to eat lots and lots of food. We're going to have turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy and green bean casserole made from scratch. My mom makes her own white sauce and cooks her own mushrooms and... Uh, does all the stuff. It's just, it's amazing. Her green bean casserole is my favorite. And the jelly cranberry sauce, and then maybe pumpkin pie. Probably not, because we eat too much other food. <laughs> Anyways, if any of you are going hunting out there, it's, um, this weekend is opening hunting in Wisconsin. Please, everybody, be safe. Um, good luck. And uh, yeah. I will, I've got some other stuff going on, so I will see you. Oh, I have a blog hop tonight that starts at 9 o'clock my time, 9 o'clock central time. So watch for that. I'll post a link on my Facebook page for the blog hop. I made a beautiful card and a treat holder. I think you guys will love it. And make sure you get over to my blog and subscribe to it so you don't miss anything I have coming out. Thank you once again for taking time out of your night to spend with me. You guys don't know how much I thoroughly enjoy this. Thank you, too, for all your congratulations and well wishes. And just being here um, warms my heart. Happy Thanksgiving. Be careful. Be safe. Have good luck. And I will post on my page when I will be on again. Bye-bye, everybody.